Okay, today we're going to be doing a review on the Holzbruck Anabi, or Anabi, however you want to pronounce that Swedish word. And we're going to be talking about my experience with it and what I think overall with this little tool. So, ultimately, this tool is a 20 inch uh, handled axe that is about the same head weight and size as a GBA Scandi Forest axe. So, I'm not really sure whether I should compare this to the Scandi Forest Axe or the GBA Small Forest Axe because it's about the size of the Small Forest Axe, but the, he the head is heftier. So, it's kind of a little bit of both in a way. And I'm not still completely convinced if that's a good thing or a bad thing. However, I will say that this little tool is definitely interesting because it has a very small and uh, fast form factor to it. It's easy to pack. It's really a quite useful tool in a lot of ways. However, I find that it definitely seems to not struggle, but definitely meet its match when it comes to larger pieces of wood. Of course, the tree that we're doing this review on is the tree it just dropped. And while it certainly dropped that tree just fine, um, I felt like it could definitely uh, have done it a little bit faster, or had I had just a little bit longer handle length, would have done it with a little bit more ease. That being said, you know, you're getting a 20 inch handled axe because you want something smaller. You're getting the more portable tool because that's what you want. And so in that regard, I think that the Anabi is definitely a valiant option. Now, I've leveled the complaint with many Holtzbrooks, not just this one, but uh, my other Holtzbrook uh, hatchet, and that is that I'm not always the largest fan of the build quality for these tools. When I think of tools like the Enneby here that are over $150, you know, I don't so much mind shelling out the money for this or for a GBA small forest axe or a Scandi forest axe because I know I'm getting tools that are going to last me a lifetime. You know, these are tools that are going to be legacy tools. I'm never going to have to replace the, at least the head, you know, maybe the handle. But when we talk like that, you know, when we bring that to the head of the conversation, you know, these tools, you know, have to mean something. There has to be a pride in owning them and a being able to cherish the craftsmanship is one of those parts. So when we take a look at the, you know, uh, this particular tool, and when we see that, you know, like one thing, for example, is, you know, with this one, you can see here that like the head, uh, the way that the eye and the handle are done is just completely unevenly cut off. Like it's just absolutely terrible. And so when you see stuff like that, you know, the fitment is pretty good on this one, I will say, but on my other, you know, uh, Holtzbrook, the fitment is not quite up to par. So when we look at, you know, facets and components like that of Holtzbrook uh, quality, it begins to be a little bit more questionable because, like I said, understand that I'm judging this tool not because I'm wanting to be hard on Holtzbrook and I'm wanting to approve of GBA, but because you are spending a lot of money on this tool, you know, this is not a cheap, inexpensive axe. You are spending $160 is what I paid for this particular axe. So, you know, you're not buying a cheap little axe here. These are pretty pricey. So I think it is righteous to have pretty high expectations and reasonable demands of quality on that particular tool. So that's why I say what I say about it. Now, how has the performance been and the overall quality? I think it's been pretty good. Now, like I've said about other Holtzbrooks in the past, I'm not a huge fan of how Holtzbrook grinds their edge. I think that the cutting edge is too swept, like there's too much of a belly to it, and I don't like how it contacts wood. However, the blade is very sharp and mirror polished out of box, so you can easily cut feather stick, do whatever you want to do with that edge, and the quality of the steel, I believe it's 5160 put into the cutting edge, is there. It holds its edge for a while. I've had no complaints with either of my hatchet 
or this axe when it comes to the cutting edge. Like I said, they're still razor sharp and there's absolutely no problems in them. So I will give it that. And from the standpoint of this being a tool and not an heirloom or, you know, a heritage piece, I think that the whole spruik is just fine. And as I've said in the past, if you can't find or you don't want to or for whatever reason unable to be able to spend the money that it takes to acquire a GBA, I think Holt Spruik axes are just fine and that they will get the job done. That's why I own a few of them. But by and large, I also own a few GBAs and I prefer my GBAs over my Holt Spruiks. So this is kind of a mixed review because I'm trying to say that this tool works, but for the price, it's not the best. And that is basically where I have to leave it with this guy. Now, if you're wondering, I'm not getting rid of the Enneby or my All Mike hatchet anytime soon. They are here to stay and they serve a purpose in my collection, but they're just not my 100% favorites. And that's kind of where I have to leave it. Now, like I said, it does a good job at dropping trees and it does an okay job at uh, limbing. Limbing the trees are... So when it comes to limbing, I'm not a huge fan of using axes to do that. And it's not so much the size of the tool. I think that the 20 inch handle size is just fine for limbing a tree. However, when you consider that this tool has a near two pound head, um, it definitely weighs a little bit. And so you kind of have to you know, take that into consideration. Do you really want to use this one handed swinging back and forth, you know, multiple times to limb a tree? Well, that's up to you. If you want to do that, you certainly can. But uh, I prefer to stick with hatchets, as I know that my hatchets are easier to swing repeatedly and they're less fatiguing. So you have to take that into account, but it does a good job at felling, limbing. It does a pretty good job at bucking as well. So anyways, guys, that is my opinions and impressions on the Holtzbrook Annabee. Like I said, it's staying in the collection, but definitely I still love my GBAs more. This is a good tool. It's just not the best. So anyways, guys, hopefully that makes some sort of sense. And as always, God bless, and I'm out.